everybody. Remember me? I'm McGann. I know it's been uh, two and a half years since I posted my last, like, really current updated kind of video thing. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, just a little busy living real life. But uh, I thought that there is an issue right now that is so frustrating to me that I just want to share it with the world again, because why not? What I am really annoyed with right now is the whole Common Core system and how where we live, it's, it's just so apparent that it's about the curriculum and not about the children, and it just seems awful. So when we moved here and my oldest was starting second grade, it just kind of started to become apparent that things were a little bit weird because it was like there there's a huge fixation on lexile levels and if you are lucky enough to not know what they are they were a pact with satan and the national school board i i don't know who decided that they were a good idea when we came to a state with common core it, it was just so different and so nonsensical I, I i don't even know where to begin but i guess i'll start with uh, sight words those have been the bane of my existence. And let me tell you why. Because my oldest was reading when he was three years old. When he was in a non-Common Core State program, he went through and he read whatever he wanted. And he was reading like thicker and thicker chapter books by the end of the first grade. Now, my youngest has been completely in the Common Core system. And I've seen how it kind of negatively affects her. But... When my daughter started kindergarten, she started bringing home these stupid things called sight word lists. And they were like these column after column after column, hundreds of words that she had to memorize, not read. She was not allowed to read them or sound them out because if she sounded them out, she was wrong. And so basically the Common Core curriculum promotes memorizing words instead of learning to read words, which is always a great thing to have going on, you know. Let's not really understand why reading works. Let's just know which words mean what. And it's all basically because these words are most likely to appear in standardized testing. And you want them to get through standardized testing so much easier so that your school gets special sparkles for, for having a stupid score. And I will tell you, the reason I hate sight words more than anything is because you have to know them in order. So if you're going down the list and you're saying, oh, I don't know word number three. I can't get word number three, but I can get the other 24 words on this column. The teacher says, no, 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 you only know two words because you don't know word number three. So you know 24 words that you have just spit out in, in perfect, no problem, no hesitation, no sounding it out, memorization order, but you couldn't remember word number three, so we're going to put down you only know two words. And then you have these Lexile levels because Lexile levels are basically a company that has assigned a number value to many, 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 many books. Not all of them, but, you know, close to all of the ones that you would find nowadays. And it, it does not make any sense how they're assigning these numbers because, for instance, Jurassic Park, I think, is in the 700s, Hemingway, Tolkien, uh, C.S. Lewis. They range in the 800s, and you would think things like, oh, well, Lord of the Rings and For Whom the Bell Tolls and, and stuff like that, that surely, you know, that's probably a middle school or high school level reading, right? No. What they do is if your child does well in the reading level that they're assigned, then they keep bumping up their reading level and keep bumping it up and bumping it up and bumping it up. And now my oldest is in the thousands, which according to Lexile.com goes all the way up to 12th grade. So he's having a lot of problem finding books that have age appropriate content for a fifth grader because, you know, he's already deemed that he's too good and he's surpassed. Lord of the Rings, but somehow Diary of a Wimpy Kid, most of the books in that series are in the thousands range. How, how does that happen? How does a very simple, almost picture book outrank For Whom the Bell Tolls and Jurassic Park and, and very adult-themed, high-vocabulary books? 
because somebody's making stuff up to make a bunch of money from the state by selling these AR tests. Because you read the books, then you go online, you sign in with your school's account, and you take AR tests, and AR tests are part of your grades, and if you don't read so many books, then you know you don't get a passing grade in reading. And it's just really a way for the teacher to not have to teach, as well as a way to curb any parents who are saying, well, my kid's not being challenged, so I want them promoted a grade. Well, that's that's a really quick fix of saying, well, hey, we're just going to let them read at their level, which you would think that that would be ideal, but these levels are not consistent in the book titles. It just, it, it makes no sense, and it's ridiculous. And then you get to math. And if you haven't seen Common Core Math, uh, it's not 10 plus 8 equals 18 anymore. It's well, 18 is 10 ones plus 8 ones. And what planet does that even make sense? How is that helpful? It, it doesn't seem to be explaining why. It just seems to be wasting your time doing things a billion times harder than they need to be. And I'll tell you, I've said it like this on Twitter. The Common Core curriculum is putting the cart before the horse telling the horse to go climb a tree, and then yelling at the horse because the fields aren't plowed. And these state tests have gotten so far out of hand, I don't, I, I don't even know how to comprehend them anymore because you, you get these tests from third grade onward until through 12th grade that they're supposed to take these stupid standardized tests that are anywhere from 10 to 20 hours a year to take the complete thing. And you turn around and they're like, well, if you don't pass it, you don't pass the next grade. And last year, when, when my oldest was in the fourth grade, they were like, oh, yeah, well, we've never done these on a computer before, but here's how it's going to go, is the teacher will be able, well, there will be a teacher who will grade, like, their essays and things like that. The computer gets the final say-so for which grade is, is actually accepted because, you know, a robot is going to know better than a human being who can actually understand the English language. And we've never done these on a computer before, but if they don't pass, they don't get to go to fifth grade. Well, I found out a month and a half into fifth grade, they still haven't even gotten the results of those tests back. And it, it just, there's so much time devoted now to, to standardized testing. And just what we're doing is so wrong because kids are going to school so stressed out at this point. My daughter forgot her backpack on Monday. She stepped out of the car where the principal is out there and she's helping kids get out of cars that can't really open the doors well on their own. So my daughter gets out of the car. I start slowly driving around so I can get around the corner to leave. And I see her standing at the principal and she's like bent over, like, like convulsing. And I'm like, what, what's happening? What's going on? And the principal kind of marches over. She's like, she forgot her backpack. Is it in the car? And I'm like, no, she, she forgot it at home, I guess. It's the first time in three years she's forgotten it. And she's convulsing and crying in front of the principal because she is so stressed out that she's going to be in trouble with her teacher because the teachers keep making sure that they reinforce this notion that the tests and, and the curriculum of Common Core are what matter. The students and their feelings do not. And, and to have... A seven-year-old with that much stress on her because she forgot her backpack, which, by the way, there is nothing of value in her backpack. She carries a folder back and forth to school. It might get a paper in it, but there's nothing. there was nothing to turn in. It, it, any paper that she would have gotten at school, she could have hold, held on to and brought it with her. And, and I, I don't know what the better solution is uh, compared to Common Core. I, I don't know if they can go backwards. I don't know if they have something better planned that they could put in its place. But I know that this current, you know, curriculum before children method and this let's do this crazy stuff that doesn't even make sense and it's not even beneficial for the kids. It just makes them hate everything about education. Th this is not working. So, you know, if you agree with me, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a mess of a video. I don't really plan these things out. I just kind of go with it. So, um, yeah, sorry. And hi again to everybody who's been a subscriber forever that hasn't seen me in ages. Still alive, you know. All, all the death threats in Farsi have not phased me. Um, the ones in English, though, are kind of mean. So, I guess I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.